the West massively supplies weapons to Ukraine, Russia warns of more fierce conflict. After the US and some Western countries, Britain announced that it would send 14 main battle tanks to Ukraine, despite Moscow's objections. The British Prime Minister's office announced on January 14 that 14 Challenger 2 tanks will be delivered to Ukraine in the next few weeks. In addition, Ukraine also received about 30 AS-90 self-propelled howitzers. Britain will also begin training Ukrainian forces in the use of tanks and artillery in the coming days. As the people of Ukraine enter their second year of living under relentless Russian bombardment, the Prime Minister is determined to ensure Ukraine wins this war, a spokesman for the British Prime Minister said in a statement. Earlier, in a phone call with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the British Prime Minister said Britain plans to increase support to Ukraine including the supply of Challenger 2 tanks and artillery systems. The British Prime Minister's office said earlier this week that Britain would coordinate support with its allies after Germany, France and the United States all announced last week that they would supply armored vehicles to Ukraine. The Russian embassy in London warned that the delivery of Britain's Challenger 2 tanks to Ukraine further helps Britain achieve its goal of prolonging the conflict. The supply of tanks does not help the conflict end faster, but only makes the conflict more intense, causing more casualties, including civilians. The Russian embassy said. The Russian embassy said that the transfer of more tanks was further proof that the British authorities disregard the lives of Ukrainian civilians and further proof that the British authorities disregard the lives of Ukrainian civilians. As for the Challenger 2 tanks, they are unlikely to help the AFU, Ukrainian armed forces, change the situation on the battlefield, but they will become legitimate targets of Russian shells, the Russian embassy warned. Newspaper. The British plan to supply tanks comes after the U.S. announcement of a new aid package to Ukraine, including 50 Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. Germany and France have also increased military aid to Ukraine, with Paris agreeing to supply AMX-10 armor and Berlin announcing it will send 40 Martyr infantry fighting vehicles. The U.S. is said to be planning to supply the Stryker armored fighting vehicle dubbed the Killer to Kiev. The Stryker, an eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicle, is an effective combination of tank and armored personnel carrier. The United States and its Western allies are racing to supply Ukraine with armored vehicles to thwart a new Russian attack this spring. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that there is no reason for Western partners to be afraid to supply tanks and weapons to Kiev at the present time. Russia has repeatedly warned that the West's pumping of weapons into Ukraine will only prolong the conflict and increase the risk of a direct military conflict between Russia and NATO. Russia also stated that any foreign arms shipments to Ukraine could become a legitimate target of Moscow's attack.